Hey guys, what's happening? It's Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland in Kirkland, Washington, just outside of Seattle. And I'm going to give you some advice. It's the very best advice I could give you if you're out there searching for a car, whether here at Infinity of Kirkland or anywhere in the world. Always buy a car, doesn't matter if it's new or if it's used, especially if it's new, but even if it's used, always buy a car on the last day of the month, if at all possible. Why is that? Because we're all freaking out to hit our volume objectives. Every dealership in America on the last day of the month has the same thing going. The owner's prowling around the showroom floor, he's hollering at all the salespeople, who do you got coming in, whatever it takes, I want every single deal, I want every single mark on the board, I don't care if I have to pay too much for their trade, I don't care if we lose money selling the car, I just want more, more, more more volume because if I hit my volume objectives then the factory will send me more cars on subsequent months and I'll make more money so it's a fool who doesn't sell as many cars as they possibly can on the last day of the month and it's a genius who does and so you as a consumer greatly benefit from that because it doesn't matter what corny offer that you've got on the last day of the month the last day of the month is when deals are made that's just how it is in the car business now people ask me all the time they say how do you pick the cars that you do your videos on well simply put I just do videos on the stuff that we take in on trade and of course it's the last day of the month we've taken in a bunch of cool trades including this 2011 Acura MDX now this is the technology package so all MDX has come pretty well equipped this one adds navigation to that equipment list and then this pearl white color my absolute favorite color not just in Acura but in all of cars this pearlescent paint uses a uh, uh, instead of a metallic shavings it actually uses although they're synthetic pearls it's actually ground pearls to achieve that pearlescent color well metallic shavings oxidize as the years go by so the paint fades the more uh, metallic shavings are in it pearls of course whether synthetic or otherwise they uh, never oxidize and so the paint looks lustrous for years and years and years and so whether it's an Acura a Porsche or even our own infinity these pearl white colors are absolutely the best in the business Taking a look around this particular car, now the MDX is uh, not just one of my favorite vehicles, but one of everybody's favorite vehicles. Uh, it's been out in the United States for well over a decade now, and the uh, to, uh, to rave reviews every year that the MDX has been out, it's been considered uh, one of the very best, if not the single best, sport utility available on the marketplace. And then when you look inside this car, this interior is absolutely awesome. The video I did before this was on a Mercedes uh, GLK, and it's so Spartan and so old school in comparison. I mean, it's probably the least sophisticated sport utility on the market. And then the very next video I do is on what's probably the most sophisticated sport utility on the market. They go for about the same money, but unless you hate money the, and want to throw it away on the GLK, I can promise you the resale value on the GLK, regardless of the starting price, is going to be absolutely nowhere near what it is on the MDX over any time frame and the reliability on the MDX they've just earned what they've earned it's as good as anything that there is this is a vehicle you can very very comfortably factor 200 plus thousand miles into the equation if this is a car that I'm planning on keeping 10 12 13 14 years and I can justify spending in the case of this car upper 30s of uh, thousands of dollars or brand new even fifty thousand dollars it's worth it compared to other stuff because the quality is so strong it'll last for that long and if I do want to sell it at any time between now and 15 years from now it'll still have fabulous resale value the envy of everybody else in the industry if I take a look in the back seat again very very spacious inside and so two people are sitting in front not just in comfort but in opulence I mean it's really really classy up there and then back here three full-size adults no problem but two people man look at all the space that you have it's really really nice taking a look in the back just a push of the button and it's a power uh, tailgate now this one with the third seat down opens up to just enormous rear end space now with the third seat up it's really cramped so with the third seat up there is not very much space behind that third row seat but that's the case with every one of these kind of two-thirds or three-quarter size sport utilities with the third row seat up you have very very little room behind but this does have fairly comfortable accommodations in the third row seat not first class like the other two rows but it's certainly bearable for a full-size adult and actually comfortable for kids but with the seats down you have all the space in the world taking a look around the passenger side this particular car only has 11,000 miles so super low miles the interior looks brand new because the car is almost brand new they do have really nice leather in these cars let's take a look inside take a look at some of those nice features
the wood looks really expensive. And when you spend a lot of money on a car, that's something that you definitely want. You want to at least look the part. The leather, well, the leather's fantastic in this car all the way through. I mean, it's just, these seats are so soft and supple. It's really nice. This has uh, an automatic transmission, six speed automatic. Kind of everybody's going between seven speeds and nine speeds. So this is kind of yesterday's news. But the benefit of uh, uh, a multi-speed transmission is the more gears that you have, theoretically, the better gas mileage that you enjoy because there's more selection for the engine to maximize uh, the power. And so the, while still maximizing the, uh, the fuel economy, uh, on, the, on the Mercedes GLK, for example, which has uh, 32 less horsepower than this does, this has 300 horsepower and it's a bigger vehicle, that vehicle averages 17 miles per gallon combined with a seven-speed automatic transmission, whereas this averages 18 miles per gallon and has 300 horsepower and is much larger with a third row seat. Now, a lot of people are comparing this even against our own Infiniti EX, uh, against uh, smaller sport utilities, the Acura's own RDX, Toyota's RAV4, and the like. If I were buying a sport utility right now and I didn't need a third row seat, I think I'd still buy the MDX. Even though it's a little bit bigger, you gotta get over that. It's just so nice. It may not be exactly what you need. Maybe it's too much and you don't like the idea of a bigger vehicle. Let's remember, this is based on the Honda Accord platform. It's really simple to drive. It's not daunting big. It's just nice and big. It's full size. It's just a full figured vehicle as, as opposed to something that's just, everything's just, you barely fit and your gear barely fits. This has just room where you can get comfortable, get relaxed, feel good, it's got a dynamite engine, it's got dynamite all-wheel drive system, it has a great warranty, but more importantly, it's earned the respect of the entire marketplace. It's one of the single best vehicles that you can buy, regardless of dollar figure in the sport utility segment. You can spend a lot more money, but you're not gonna get a lot nicer sport utility no matter how much you spend. Get one of these with low miles, a couple years old, it's the smartest money you'll ever spend on a sport utility. If you have any questions about this car at all, please don't hesitate to give me a call. My name is Joe Tunney. I'm the sales manager at Infinity of Kirkland. You can reach me anytime, 425-821-1400, or just drop me an email at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.